We all know how thrilled Patricia is about seeing the Northern Lights. What about you, Barb? Viking history and feminist shark. What's not to love? Did the doctor say it was okay? Absolutely. Nine months and counting since my last chemo. No evidence of disease. NED, as we ovarian cancer survivors say. Let's toast to that. Soul! What's the matter? I thought you were hungry. I was. I get full so quickly lately. Well, don't force yourself. We'll take it home. Let's go. The flea market awaits. I can't. I feel so bloated. Maybe you should see Dr. Taylor sooner than your appointment. For bloating? What if I'm having a recurrence? Were you experiencing bloating and fullness last time I saw you? No, just the past month. We'll do a physical exam, including a pelvic exam, with the CA-125 test and CT imaging. When I was first diagnosed, I, I couldn't believe it. I had no family history of cancer. I'm so scared these symptoms might be a recurrence. I don't want to lose my hair again. It's just grown back to a length I like. Fear of recurrence is very real, but remember that we have lots of treatment options too. Many people, some of whom are my patients, live good lives with ovarian cancer for years. I asked you to come in today because unfortunately your tests and scans showed that your ovarian cancer has recurred. I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, but I didn't expect it so soon. I'm sorry, I wish I were giving you better news. But we have options. Let's work together to find the best treatment for you. What are we going to do about Iceland? It's not important right now. But we're supposed to leave in two weeks. Pat, will you forget about the trip? That's not important right now. It is important. What does this mean for my life? What do I do now? Every day less seems possible. We talked about recurrence while I was in treatment. I knew that most women diagnosed at a later stage, like I was, have a recurrence. What are my options now? How bad is this recurrence gonna be? Nothing I can do about it anyway. What control do I have? Maybe I could have eaten a little better, or... Come on, let's go eat something now. An Icelandic restaurant in California. Surprise! It's not the Northern Lights, but... It's great. We had travel insurance, so I rescheduled the flights for later this year. We have our future to look forward to. Will I have side effects? Will they be different from the last time? Will they last longer? How will the medications affect my quality of life? We'll work together closely to help control your side effects after initiating treatment. We'll also do scans along the way to see if the treatment is working. Many of my patients in treatment with recurrent ovarian cancer continue to travel and do things that are important to them. Do you want to turn around and head back home? I'm just so much more tired since I started treatment this time. What was I just saying? I completely lost my train of thought. It's so different this time around. The first time, treatment felt like I was trying to beat something. Now, it feels like I'm just holding a disease at bay, and it's frightening. We were able to postpone our trip last year, thank goodness for travel insurance. But if I could be in and out of treatment for years, what am I waiting for to travel? I'm glad you've identified that travel is important for you and Barb. 
Remember, I'm here for you if you need help managing side effects, or even if you need a break from treatment. Symptoms of recurrence include abdominal pain, bloating, nausea or vomiting, or changes in bowel or bladder habits. Some women experience no symptoms when they recur. All women diagnosed with ovarian cancer should have genetic testing because it can influence treatment decisions. If a genetic mutation is found, testing family members may save lives. Recurrent ovarian cancer patients can be treated with chemotherapy, possibly followed by maintenance therapy. For ovarian cancer information, guidance, and support, please visit sharecancersupport.org or call SHARE at 866-537-4273. We're here to help.